Okay, so the basics of scientific notation. Uh, this is basically a nice way, compact way of writing numbers, especially when they're really big or really small. And so we write them in the form of some number times 10 to a power. Because sometimes we just want to know what's often re referred to as the order of magnitude. And so we just want to know, like, how large is it? Are we talking thousands, millions, billions? Or are we talking, like, really small numbers, like hundred thousandths, etc.? And so that front number A is a number that's between 1 and 10. But it can't be 10, because once you have 10, well, that's another power of 10. And so... A is a real number between 1 and 10. It can equal 1, <clears throat> but it can't equal 10. So A is a real number. So let's see here. For example, um, 829,700. So again, we want that front number A to be between 1 and 10. So that would be right here, right? You would basically, you can kind of think of moving the decimal place over here. So you get 8.297. And then we're talking about hundred thousands, right? The eight is in the hundred thousand place. So there are five, other places to the right and we can write that as times 10 to the fifth and let me just give kind of an easy example like say 500 okay again five is the number that's between 1 and 10 and you're talking about five hundreds, right? And hundreds are 10 squareds. So you have five of those. And notice there are two decimal places to the right, right? So it's five times 10 squared. And that's because that first decimal place would actually be 10 to the zero. These are the 10 to the ones. These are the 10 squareds. Okay, so this is all building on just our understanding of place value, right? The ones are 10 to the zeros, 10 to the ones, 10 squared, 10 cubed, 10 to the fourth, 10 to the fifth, right? So you have eight 10 to the fifths and then times 0.297, so 297 thousandths of them. And then we can also go the other way. 5.72 times 10 to the fourth. Okay, so again, we know that the five is in the 10 to the fourth place. So that means there are four places to the right. So you have five, seven, two, Right, these are the four places here. And then of course, we usually put a comma uh, after three places there. Okay, and for small numbers, right, so now we can think of, you know, moving the decimal back to over here, because again, we want that nine. That's the number that's between one and 10, okay? And that's in the 10 to the negative six place. That is 10 to the negative one, 10 to the negative two, 10 to the negative three, 10 to the negative four, 10 to the negative five, 10 to the negative six. So you get 9.12 times 10 to the negative six.
And then suppose you were given the number already in scientific notation. Okay, so um, the nine there is going to be in that third place to the right. So you have zero point zero zero nine seven seven, right? The nine is in that third place to the right. <laughs>